With the Alliance fleet assembling over Sullust, the Emperor decided to proactively approach the rebel problem. Rather than guard the station's secrets, as with the first Death Star, Sidious opted to leak just enough information to bait the Alliance into striking at the station before it was completed, including the fact that he would be overseeing the final stages of the station's construction personally. After the Bothan spynet successfully transmitted intelligence regarding the Empire's new and improved Death Star to Alliance High Command, an emergency summit was held on the remote trade world of Zastiga, far from the galactic core. There, rebellion leaders and generals were to be informed of the construction of the second Death Star located over Endor which, they knew, had to be destroyed before it became operational. Needing to buy time for the scattered fleet to assemble over Sullust, Princess Leia Organa devised a strategy, Operation Yellow Moon, to divert Imperial attention to her instead of the upcoming mission to Endor. Ultimately, with the successful completion of Yellow Moon, the Rebel Alliance had gained valuable time for its now consolidated fleet to finally be able to strike at an incomplete Death Star. Unknown to the Rebels, large portions of the Imperial Starfleet had already begun massing in the Hudala system, while Imperial engineers had ensured that the new Death Star's main weapon was fully operational. Eventually, Imperial Military Command had discreetly moved the gathered warships to a staging point on the far side of Endor's moon, where the Death Star was orbiting. Simultaneously, a legion of Imperial troops was deployed on the surface to stop any attempt at sabotaging the station's ground-based SLD-26 planetary shield generator, which neutralized any attempt at directly assaulting the station.